Hello, my beautiful Vibe Drivers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Wednesday, February 7th of 2023. Many blessings to you all as we move forward in this energy, allowing ourselves to be moving in our relentless optimism and realizing that we have a collective energy going here for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com, and below... You have a little little surprise, a little Valentine from me to save 20% from February 1st through 14th. So check that out, and I hope that it will make you a happy Valentine recipient as we move forward. You can get a reading from me. Very excited uh, for all of you who are just now popping in. Uh, I had a lovely uh, technical difficulty with my new equipment today, and I had to re-record all of my readings. So this luckily was not one of them. I had not done this one yet. So this is a fresh start, hoping that it all goes without any snafus as we move forward in our relentless optimism, positively positiveness, moving forward with the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus our intention on creating our best possible life now. Sometimes this HRT happens. But we can rise above it. And so it is as we move forward. Thank you for the likes and subscribes as we move in the energy. You know, this is the great and powerful algorithm that we are operating in. So thank you for your assistance in that. And uh, hey, even though you may think, well, what is this? It's a three of swords and doesn't look very friendly. And there's a four things piled on each other. It's a really good thing because first of all, you have a three and a four. That's progress. Okay. So this is a progressive energy of the three to the four. Now, this three of swords is a is a hold pattern that you're in right now. It's it's you're being pinned in a specific place. It's holding you there because it's doing something. And once it's time for it to release, three days, three weeks, three months, third time's the charm. It allows you to be uh, released from that and you can move forward with your whole heart into the energy of stability, which is the four, being in the energy of financial abundance and money in the bank. And that's literally four coins in a box. Um, hello, just a different piggy bank, right? So we love that energy as we start. This is the precipice of something new. Let's see what the cards have to say. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit, hello. We've got the Virgo Major Arcana. The energy of the hermit. Now, this is where we do some introspection and we allow ourselves to, to take a full on look at how we are, what lens are we using as we step forward and allowing divine to show us the way to eliminate some of the false beliefs or false teachings that we've received uh, or false understandings because we can misunderstand something if we're, if we're not in a place of maturity when we hear it. So we, we don't know what to do with it, right, or how to process it. So let yourself move in the energy of taking an assessment of what you're telling yourself and what your inner beliefs are. Even sometimes we believe things we don't even realize we're investing our energy into. So let yourself do a fair assessment of that, right? Sometimes keeping a journal is helpful. So if, if you need to, that is what I recommend. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon, and rising signs that have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we have our three cards out. And our underlier is... <laughs> Yeah, talk about some introspection on some negative thoughts that may be running amok in our subconscious mind. So today, when I, I was really cooking with gas, I had all my readings done, and I was so excited that I had, you know, like early, and um, then I got an email from somebody that said, hey, there's no sound, and um, that's what had happened. Somehow, in the loading process, uh, it just didn't pick up the sound. So. First, first and foremost is you have to, so yes, even Royal Mystic has rain, rainfall in, in the, in the trying to make progress area, but 
we can't let it run away with us and we can't think that we're being punished. This is not a punishment. This is how we have to reframe and go, okay, well, let's proceed from here. Instead of letting all of those old false beliefs jump in and cast a, a disparaging energy on what you're about to do. Because now if you take that old energy and try to go forward with it, you're just going to make whatever you do be poisoned in that same way. Right? So that's why we have to clear and purge and release those old old thinking systems as we learn better we replace the old with the new it's upgrade right right this is capricorn major arcana it's a beautiful energy of closing the door to that mind trap of negativity and allow yourself to move forward from there now if it's just your capricorn if you're a capricorn this just telling you guard your thoughts you have a tendency to swing negative sometimes so um, you're you're an earth energy and that means you're kind of rigid uh it's very I mean, in the in the grounding you know that this is the way i've done it and you kind of stick to that but all of us have that same tendency to another degree right practice now this is where this comes in handy is when we realize sometimes we may be moving on false information or an old habit of just knee-jerk reaction and and practicing the paying attention to what we're thinking is part of this practicing being the observer of your own you know when you feel your energy change what thought did you just think that did that because it was a thought somewhere in the background there was a there was a little thought running in your mind and sometimes it's hard to chase down because they're tiny they're like little little uh <laughs> so one, I know someone who calls them manahunis, the little people in Hawaii, little manahunis running around, little tiny little little people. So practice is important. Every day I practice my ability to reach my desired financial goals. It's important for any goal to practice your ability to do it and be in the energy of of continuing to hone it. I mean, I'm practicing tarot. I feel like I'm constantly learning something new. First thing is check your microphone before you start recording. <laughs> I have that down, Pat, I promise you. <laughs> relax. <laughs> I choose to relax and not fill my mind with worry as that creates stress. It doesn't, it doesn't do you any good to worry about it. Do what you can to alleviate it and circumvent it or be ready for it. But that's all you can do. And just allow yourself to move forward in your strength. Improving health. So many people are going through some things. This is that time of year. This is allowing you to be in a place of restorative energy. So the angels are here to tell you they are ready to download some healing energy. If you can sit in a quiet space and allow yourself to receive it. Just breathe in the, the light of the sun and the light of the moon and the fresh air and the beautiful vibrations of health and healing that surround you. Remember, it is your belief that causes it to be so. Hello, my favorite donut of all donuts, the prosperity donut. It's not really a donut, y'all. It's a, it's a uh, Tauros. And it's the energy of prosperity that supports our feelings of well-being by allowing the inclusion of everything that makes our body, mind, heart, soul, and spirit sing. It invites us to express ourselves in joy and celebration of the abundance and riches that the universe provides. And so it is. We receive this prosperity in its glorious energy. It looks like the most fabulous king cake you could ever make. King's Cake has that beautiful color like that. And this is the season for it. For those of you who know the Mardi Gras. And we have Guardian Angel. Trust. All unfolds in perfect timing. You are one with divine will. Focus only on love and all that you truly desire will manifest at the most perfect moment. Be patient. I, your guardian angel, am watching over you, and so it is. Thank you, all angels, guardian angels, and higher beings in all dimensions. We receive and appreciate all of your help and guidance. Surrender. Now, this is a biggie. We have to let ourselves stop being like a, a, a shield of or a wall to everything. Surrender. Remain positive about the future of our planet. 
for it is in human it is all part of humanity's evolution there is divine order to all the chaos which you perceive that exists in our world nothing will ever truly change until we learn how to love and accept it as it is Lovingly surrender your judgments and expectations, and your life will magically transform. When you run up into something that seems immovable, you must just stop. Don't go at it head on and pound at it and, and hammer at it and use a pickaxe and a chainsaw. Be still. Sometimes, just in the act of being still, you cause a d- disruption in what's holding you back. And it literally moves itself out of the way. Oh, we like that. So there's the nine of cups, your heart's desire being granted. And the beautiful energy of this abundance coming in. The nine of cups is a celebratory energy and a yes from the universe. And it's the best friend of the ten of cups. Well, we'll take a ten of pentacles. Uh, Yes, we will. So beautiful energy of abundance of a lifetime coming in. Divine alignment. A ten is the energy of releasing all lack and you are now in a place where you flow freely with just all the abundance you could possibly want or ask for. And then here we go in the energy of four pentacles again, which is financial security and money in the bank. And so it is. We'll take it. (laughs) Prosperity it is. And so it is. We take that energy and surrender to the abundance that is flowing in our direction as we relax and release all old thought patterns that are to the contrary. Many blessings to you all. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste, my friends.